it's Mary Richardson, and here we are at Live Musicians Co-op in Santa Rosa. Today we are featuring our very own local favorite band, Waxwing. Welcome, guys. Can you introduce yourselves? Yeah. Uh, my name's Alex Wilkie Wilson. I play the bass guitar. Uh, I'm Will Reyes. I play the second guitar. I'm Andreas Hernandez. I play the drums. I'm Eddie Duenas. I play lead guitar. Uh, I'm Matt Cruz, and uh, I'm the vocalist. All right, now can you tell us a little bit about how did Waxwing form? That goes way back. That's the <laughs> you, buddy. Or how long ago? And let's well, say how long has Waxwing been a thing? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, um, 2009, 2010, 2010, roughly, kind of. Yeah. Um, but let's just say we started, really started when Matt joined the band, um, which was what early 2012. Yeah, yeah, uh, like that January, uh, February, right around there, because we ended up playing a show with you after we had just recused you, like, for what, like, two or three weeks? Yeah. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. So, we're going to go with that. Um, oh. Eddie and I have been playing together since... In high school, junior year? Yeah, the, the summer between junior and senior year of high school, so that was the summer of 2008. Uh, we picked up Wilkie... Uh, a couple years after that, and then Andreas after that, and then Matt, and now we've got the whole puzzle together. And I'd actually it, played with Eddie like oh, back in high school. Actually. Yeah, it was a master plan I had laid down. Yeah, right. uh -huh. I, yep. I was and so in, in this between. Years. I, didn't, I didn't know what I wanted at that point. I was like, I'll, I'll kick it and play a show. And then, you know. yeah. That is great. Now, how about how old were each of you when you first started playing your music? Uh, I got first picked up the bass. Uh, must have been. 15 or 16 years old, I heard, uh, I was just getting into heavy metal, and my brother gave me the first couple Metallica records, <laughs> and I said, shit, I gotta do this. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, thank you, Bob. Bob is awesome. Bob, you should watch this. <laughs> um, I was 17 when I started playing guitar, uh, probably the latest of everyone here, so I got a while to go to catch up still. Uh, I've been, I got my first kit when I was, what was it, like, the Christmas of 2004, at least. Uh, yeah. I've been playing for a while now, and self-taught, by the way. Awesome. I probably had two formal VHSs yeah. in my collection <laughs> to teach me a 4-4 beat, and it all went straight uphill from there. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I managed to convince my mom to buy me a really terrible acoustic in Mexico when I was 14 or 15. Uh, I tried to learn out of a book and said no, and then just been learning Iron Maiden songs since then, and that's how I learned guitar. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, um, it's funny. I actually started out as a guitar player when I was uh, 16, and um, I actually went to a local battle of the bands in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and uh, I saw this guy with a cowboy hat, and he was like shredding on guitar. So uh, one day I recognized him on the street, and I was like, dude, you have to teach me how to play guitar. So he actually got me into uh, Ingve Momstein. I you know? love it. And uh, the crazy thing is, like, I would learn, like, all these guitar licks and shredding and stuff, but when my hands would get tired, I would sing along with it. Huh? <laughs> and that's how it all started. So it would start with, like, Yngwie Malmsteen, Gamma Ray, mm -hmm. Halloween, Iron Maiden, Britney Fox, L.A. Gunn, Skid Row, Judas Priest. Yes, yes. That's how it was in the beginning. And Striper. So. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta have that in there. <laughs> I know. He's a real 80s baby. Yeah. <laughs> You were so be. old, Matt. I am so old. <laughs> that is a, well, now, we're glad you guys are bringing back metal, old school rock to Santa Rosa. It seems a lot of the music scene went away for a while. The Fox closed up, record stores calling it quits, venues closing, last day saloon. Do you think that you're finally getting back a comeback with the music, people coming out to shows and everything? Interest back in the music scene out here in Santa Rosa? It seems like it's happening. It's, it's mm -hmm. picking up, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of bands around that are similar to us. I mean... Like, one of the bands that we played with, like, a bunch is, like, Road Crew. Mm -hmm. Road Crew. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, Road Crew, um, Viral, Ethereal. Nessians. Nessians. Um, you know, all those bands. I just, you know. It's definitely a lot harder when we first started to get yeah. bands together mm -hmm. and a show mm -hmm. uh, than it is now. Now, it's like, at least there's way more to choose from. People wanted to play with us. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it was, yeah. you'd be lucky to get four bands to play mm -hmm. a show. We're actually right. playing bands with other people who just started their band and started yeah. playing live shows. Yeah. So We've been playing like just people everything wanna... we get. Yeah, it's crazy. That's I remember great. Like, when we started out and, like, I guess like, we just started. Yeah. Yeah. Friends Even friends. though, uh, yeah. Even though there's not a lot of places to play around here, the people that run the places are now like calling us mm -hmm. and and said, mm -hmm. asking asking us to come do shows. Yeah, which and is very cool. Yeah, definitely. So much nice.
Now, how about if you guys could put together your dream lineup for a tour? What three bands might you choose, Living or Dead? Oh, that'd be really <laughs> weird, though. Because <laughs> yeah. I listen to so much damn yeah, music. Like, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. It's funny. I think we're all, like, we all have different influences. I think we would all Can we have side stuff. stages? It <laughs> 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 would be a festival, right? Yeah, yeah what festival <laughs> could we concoct? Uh, Too many bands. We're name one band to be, one of each of you yeah. guys could pick. Okay, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden, definitely. Yeah. I would okay. not be playing guitar if it wasn't for them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Dream Theater. Oh, very good. After good. everything I do, I just try to be John Lyon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, for me, like, if Skid Row were to get back together, that would be <laughs> fucking cool. Yes. But I don't know about that. That's mm -hmm. a pretty kick-ass lineup right there. Yeah, all right. Yeah. What about you, Will? Uh, I don't know. That's a... Because it's like, there's what I like now, but then, I don't know, if, if we want to do Living or Dead, I, I guess I'd have to go with Zeppelin, you know, oh, back in the day, because oh, okay. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jimmy Page. Okay. Will wins. So. Mm -hmm. Will wins. Now that he's got the dead out of the way, yeah. I get two, by the way. <laughs> does. Corn and Slipknot, because both, both those bands got me into drumming, as, yeah. as silly as that oh, sounds, I'm, I'm so far from that, but I, I will always have a spot in my heart for them. That is awesome. You guys had a great lineup. That is a festival <laughs> there. You know, that would be a festival. If we could peek into your iPod or your MP3 player, what artist or song might we be most surprised at seeing on there? Uh, oh, oh, man. He likes Katy God. Perry. <laughs> All right. That is <laughs> a very Katy common... Perry on my iPod. Oh, my God. That's it. Not because she's hot. He sings her. He knows the words. Actually, I was warming up to that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Be bad at nothing. Or just surprising. Oh, yeah. Surprising. surprising. I listen to my dad's old like uh, like Mexican love ballad shit. I, I love that stuff. That's cool. I listen to it in the truck, you know, and it just it's so good. <laughs> bad. Well, uh, if you're looking to my iPod, yeah. you'd be super surprised. There's like pop music from every Asian country in there, <laughs> and uh, <That's> cool. <laughs> it's because I grew up on it, you know, like mm -hmm. living in the Philippines. And um, just an assortment, you know. I listen to a lot of Japanese rock bands, you know, mm -hmm. as much as uh, I listen to a lot of like European like rock bands, yeah, like power metal out. bands over there, and like American heavy metal bands. Like, I listen to everything, you know. So that's good. See, I like that. Okay, guys. Hi. I don't, um, <laughs> well, I don't know what would be surprising yeah, to me because people I've... get more surprised when they meet me that I tell them I'm in a heavy metal band. <laughs> so. You know, it's not surprising, you know, when you scroll through my music and you're seeing bands like Gojira and Megadeth and things like that. But, you know, people, I guess, would be less surprised to see, you know, that I have a big crush on Taylor Swift. So that's always a good choice, I think. So. Wow, yeah, I did not I mean, know that. I don't really have any, like, guilty pleasure songs because I don't really have any shame yeah. about it. But, um, like, I was raised on, on old country and my mom used mm -hmm. to listen to country, so, like, you know, Willie Nelson mm -hmm. is yeah. great, and like Randy Travis, I'd yeah. listen to those. Love sure. That is great. Now, guys, how about if you could take a song from a, any other type of genre and turn it into a, a waxwing metal song? Uh, oh. you pick any, oh, that's, that's, <laughs> we, we, we already have. We did part of the Cyrus. USA yeah. briefly. Oh, oh, you did? For a quick You're second. Oh, my God. oh, I love it. No one caught that. Yeah. 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 We had no video on that out yeah. there? Yeah. No, 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 no. It's funny because like, the audience was so serious, you know? It was like, oh, my God. Yeah. We'll bring it. It didn't back. go over as well as we thought it would. <laughs> Yeah. You should probably actually learn how to play it first. Right. Yeah. I was just like blabbering like <laughs> gibberish like lyrics. I, I forgot what I said. You know, yeah. I mentioned like a bunch of random stuff. In there. Yeah. <laughs> I could sing the new Taylor Swift song pretty metal, metal though. That might yeah. show up later. Yeah. What was that? The new Taylor Swift song. Oh, so, see, okay. Yeah. yeah. That Wait, show but up. That we have to have goats. We have to have goats. We're Nicholas Cage. Or Nicholas Cage. You guys get Nicholas Cage first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll start. There we go. That's get on with it. Lineup. Play with Nicholas Cage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Johnny Depp, too, there. No. <laughs> What are you guys currently working on right now? You got a lot of shows in the work I see yes. coming up. Shows. We got um, one killer song going on that yeah. I 
I was like, as soon as Eddie had just came up with like a botched name, just kind of like to remember it by, I was like, no, it's going to be the name of the song. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how no everyone why. feels about it, but I feel like we, I don't know. we're going to keep it. I'm okay with that. We're not going to say the names though. No. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, That'll be a surprise and Ed, for us. Ed, Edgar and I are working on a secret master plan. Um, quite literally. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> so That's cool. quite literally. We've started writing for the second album. It's yeah. What's going on here Basically. Now. Great. Oh, we can't wait for that. Now, how about, uh, is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience that you'd like to tell us about? Go, go to shows. shows. Go to shows. Go, go to shows. Your local music scene. Buy music. Yeah. Don't, don't, with don't us. download music. Don't share music. Buy music because mm -hmm. we're poor and we need money and we love your yeah. support. Yeah. It affects everybody when they do that. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. It just always sense. come hang out with us at shows. We love yeah. hanging out yeah. with people. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find us dancing in the parking lot. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The bands. We, we know this is a fun bunch here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So how about our last thing is our this or that? Okay. Oh, gonna, right. gonna, so we can each other shout out which one it's going to be, right. but we'll start right off with uh, vampires or werewolves. Neither. <laughs> Cthulhu? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go werewolf. Why not? Uh, okay. You look like one. Yeah. <laughs> I got out here for it. We'll be Jack. Uh, <laughs> vampires, like, um, those for well, and rice vampires, those yeah. are cool. <laughs> sure. Bella yeah. Lugosi. Bella Lugosi, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Hold okay. stuff here. Uh, Metallica or Megadeth? Metallica. Megadeth. Sorry, Megadeth. You just... Uh, you dive bomb just as hard as Metallica. Yeah. I don't know what mm -hmm. happened. Yeah. But what about you? No, I'll, I'll go Metallica, but only up through Injustice for All. So. True. Sure. I'll go Metallica, because Master of Puppets was the first thing I learned. Yeah. Yes. That's cool. CDs or vinyl? I actually wanted to start collecting vinyl. I'm so tired of the CDs. Vinyl's I've actually gotten yeah. to listen to them. They're really good. Yeah. Sound is incredible on yeah, them. Oh yeah. It really yeah. is. Once you get somebody to listen to them after, they're just like, what are yeah. you doing with this? <laughs> Lady Gaga or Madonna? Gaga. <laughs> uh, God, that's such a hard question. I've never really listened to Madonna, so I've given the two, I'd say Gaga. That's, that's my reasoning right there. Yeah. Neither. Okay, Poke <laughs> Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh, come on. <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon. Pokemon. Although I had Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, no, I like both. Oh, I watched the show, man. Yeah, no, me too. <laughs> Star Trek or Star Wars? Zodiac. Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> Star Wars all day. I don't watch a lot of Star Trek. I've seen most of the Star Wars. Just say Star Wars, Will. Uh, Just say it. So much. Skirt your feelings. I think this is the only one where neither was my cup of tea. To be completely You want to take my neither for me? Sure. I'll say Star Wars. I just like everything sci-fi. I can't pick. And lastly, Rolling Stone or Beatles? Beatles, oh, Beatles, sorry. Probably the Beatles. Rolling Stones get on my phone. Another, I never got into either one of them. Neither, <laughs> he takes my other yeah. What do you do with your life? Well, we're gonna life. we're gonna share all your social media sites with everybody. Right. Thank you. Tell everybody to come on out to a show. You know, you got some coming up here in the next month and two. So we're gonna go ahead and share all those and pack the place for you. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. So Addicted to music? Get your fix at Music Junkie Press. Press.